Kitchen safety rules. Oh, I've finished my breakfast. All right. A lot of care is needed when using kitchen equipment to avoid accidents and damage. Here is a summary of key safety rules. Use equipment for the right purpose following manufacturer's manual if need be. Mm -hmm. Keep saucepan handles away from human traffic to prevent unnecessary accidents. Mm -hmm. Use an oven cloth when removing trays and tins from the oven. And use pot holders when handling hot pans. To avoid burns. And uh, always direct the lid away from you when opening cooking pots to prevent scalding your face. Agreed. Also, don't wear ties or hanging clothes while cooking as they can easily catch fire. Always keep the doors of drawers and cupboards closed to avoid banging on them. And store knives and forks with the handles pointing towards you to avoid accidental cuts. You read my mind. And lastly, clear any spills or fruit peelings anytime they occur to avoid accidental falls. Did you know that we can improvise kitchen equipment at home? No, but I am aware improvising them would save a great deal of money. Now you know. All right, I'll show you how. Let us start with the charcoal cooler. It is designed to look like a kitchen cupboard on the outside. Hmm. It has double wall into which small chunks of charcoal are packed. Mm -hmm. On top of the structure, there is a tray of water with a sack cloth that ensures the water drips into the charcoal continuously. Are we good up to this point? I think so. Just go on. I'll do my research. All right. As water evaporates from the charcoal, it absorbs the heat from foods kept in the cupboard, keeping it cool. Anyway, when constructing a charcoal cooler, ensure it is away from direct sunlight and the dripping water is properly drained. Wow, I would like to try that sometime. I believe you will, my son. You can as well try making a meat safe for storing meat. It also resembles a kitchen cupboard lined with fine wire mesh for air circulation. Inside are hooks from which meat is hanged. Well, it seems not to be as complicated as making a charcoal cool at least. Agreed. Making a stand is even less complicated. Simply use wood to make a rack for draining excess water from utensils after washing them. A grater too can be improvised using a clean tin perforated with holes using a nail. Oh, can't we use a bigger tin to make an oven then? Yes, we can. Better still, we can use a debe. Fill the debe a third full of sand. Light your charcoal stove and place the debe on top of it. Hmm. When the sand gets heated, place the container with dough in it and cover it. I guess we cover it so that the cake is not contaminated? Essentially, yes. And that leads me to my next subject. Which is? Food hygiene. Let us go see my longtime friend, Dr. Nancy. She can help us with the information since she is a nutritionist. Then what are we waiting for?